Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have a Nadine West bag for June. So, who watched my last bag? Um, it was a complete bust, to be honest with you. It was very disappointing, and I tried to be as honest as possible, but you guys know me, I'm still a positive person, so that was really hard to do. Um, but I did contact Nadine West, and I was like, what's up, guys? Why are you doing this? And I just received um, an email back that said, and it took a little while for them to get back to me, but they said, we're gonna assign you to another stylist. Um, we see that you're leaving feedback and we're you know, apologetic of the last bag. And so I don't know, we're gonna see, will they redeem themselves with this bag? Now this bag actually shipped before I got that email. So whether that new stylist is in place yet or whether this is still a random pickup stylist, I don't know. Um, so. I don't know, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this is a better bag. Um, if you're new to Nadine West, um, it is typically one of the more aff affordable styling services. Um, they base their styles on your profile um, and then it's $10 for a shipping fee, but that gets applied to anything you decide to keep in the bag. Um, I do have a link below that will give you $10 off of your first purchase um, and also free shipping for that first bag. So if you wanna give them a try, go for it. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you hopeful? I really have been debating whether I should continue Nadine West, but they send me these bags for free. I am an affiliate with them, um, an influencer with them. So they just send me these bags for free. I'm honestly not even sure how to stop the bags from coming. So I think I will continue to do the bags, even if it's just for fun, <laughs> for us to try these on for some new styles. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Um, be careful um, how you open the bags because this is the same bag that you return things in. Um, they do give you a label in here that you just put right back on the bag um, and you can ship back to them. Okay. I'm seeing some color at least. Not black velvet <laughs> like my last one. So let's see. All right, I always keep an open mind, um, but you never know. Okay, so here is the label on one side, the invoice on the other side. We'll look at the prices at the end, but here we go. All right, so I think that's much better just off the front I'm um, looking at it. So let's try this one first because that green kind of caught my eye there. So let's look and see. All right. I also mentioned in my last video that they typically send from five to eight pieces, um, but I've been hearing that people are getting huge shipments of things, um, like large bags. So I'm not sure if that's changed. Um, I'm still getting this, so I, I don't know. Maybe the more you do it, the more things they send you. All right, so right here, oh, these are soft. I like this color too. Um, joggers is what I'm guessing. Yep, joggers. They have very, very comfortable and soft joggers. I will give them that. They have the cute little cuff at the bottom. We've got a drawstring and we have pockets right here on the sides. This is by Sheila Rose and these are size extra large. So, oh, it's got kind of like some seaming detail going on there on the legs. That's different, kind of maybe around the knee area, so. Okay, I like those, very cute. All right, we have leggings. All right, in a really bright green color, Sheila Rose, extra large again. It's like a aqua tealy green color, um, straight leg. They do have some like pleated ruching detail going on here. I know I get my terminology wrong, but you guys get the point. And then the back has the seam in the back. So I like that bright color. I think that's fun here for the summertime. And then we've got some jewelry clanging around here. I wish they would find a way to uh, package their jewelry a little bit differently because it tends to um, come apart sometimes, get tangled, that kind of thing. I'm thinking that's a necklace. So we've got a big chain necklace. So hopefully we've got an outfit in here that I can pair that with. It's lightweight though, it's not really heavy. Um, it does make a lot of noise though, as you heard a second ago. Um, so I don't know if that would annoy me, um, but it's a big chunky necklace. Okay, so there's our first bundle. Dive into the second one. I'm seeing almost like a tie dye or something. Like, what is that? Let's start with that piece because it just kind of popped up. Okay, so this one is Zanana, size medium. It's like an oversized t shirt. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. I do love the colors. And this is a medium, so it is meant to be oversized, apparently. Um, maybe we can try that with the leggings, and it might be cute. We might attempt a front tuck, or this might be a tuck, uh, one that would be really cute to tie up in a knot or something like that. It's, again, very soft. Nadine has the best materials. They're very soft and comfortable. Um, just the style is sometimes questionable. Okay, this one is Sheila Rose in a medium. That's cute. So it's a pink three-quarter sleeve or elbow length, um, half sleeve um, with the pink and then that white at the top. It's really cute and that white continues on the back. 
looks like it's matching up, which is good. So good length. I like that. And then lastly, this is the top floral print here. We have got a Sheila Rose. Um, I don't know what size it is, though. It doesn't really indicate the size, um, but it is a floral rose print. That's pretty, too. That would be really cute with those joggers, probably, the color in there. So, okay, we've got colors, ladies, so that's always good, um, but the true tell is when we try it on. So give me a second. Let's get these outfits. We'll look at the prices here at the end, so hang on. All right, so this is actually very comfortable. Um, the joggers, let's start there because I just cannot get over how comfortable these are. They fit perfect. Um, they are hitting at the right spot here on my waist. I don't like things super high, um, but I don't like them low either. So this mid-rise is really nice. The pockets are perfect. The length is great. We don't have a lot of extra going on there. And they're so soft, so soft. And I love this color. It's very unique. These might be my new go-to joggers. I think these are perfect. Um, I love this waist here. You can tie them up. It's a real tie. It's not just for decoration. So I really love that. I'll give you the full view here. And I like the detail of the seams. Um, and it doesn't bother me. I was worried that maybe it would bother me. Sometimes, you know, the textures can bother me. So anyway, all right, the top. So I attempted my front tuck. I failed. I'm not very good at the front tuck. Um, it's just not my thing. <laughs> so we will pull it out. I think it's cute with the joggers too. Um, if I'm just wearing it around the house, obviously I probably wouldn't wear this out. Um, it does look casual and comfortable, but I think this would be cute with maybe some jeans. Um, it's a little bit too long, I think, for shorts. So that's my only negative is how long it is. But I think it's cute. I think it'll be a really nice go-to just short sleeve top that I've been looking for um, that isn't necessarily dressy for work, but it's not t-shirt material. So I think it's really cute. Um, I could also just tuck it in and just kind of do a fold over. I'm old school. I really like that look still. <laughs> I think it looks nice and clean. Um, but yeah, so here is the full length. So we are off to a much better start <laughs> than we were last time, but I'm going to try on that pink top real quick. Hang on. Okay, so again, I think this is really cute. I went ahead and paired it with jeans, though. I didn't really think that the joggers or the green pants would do it justice, um, but I think it's really cute. It's very comfortable. I actually really like where this uh, sleeve, the difference between the white and the pink go there. I think that's really cute. Um, a great little length here to kind of add a little bunch at the waist. Um, overall, I think it's really cute. I like where it hits at the elbow, too. It's not too long or too short. It's a different look, I think, with that half sleeve, but I really like it. Um, I did pair it with the necklace. Um, it is kind of pinching my neck a little bit, like the hairs on my neck, and it is loud. <laughs> so I don't think it's practical. I think it's cute. I, I am just not thinking it's my style um, or something that I would wear, but all right, we are doing great here. We have one more outfit though, hang on. Okay, so I'm not sure where to start. We'll, we'll just start from the top. All right, so this is the shirt. Just wanted to put it on so that you would see what it looks like. It's huge. To be honest, my first impression is it looks like a kid's paint shirt that they have to take to school so that, you know, for your paint class, because it's huge. I mean, it's huge. Is there potential maybe to style it differently? My thought, I have seen people doing like the knot. So we could pull it up and maybe pull it into a knot potentially. Is that still in style? I'm not quite sure. Um, so that's really the only thing I can think of. Even to tuck it in the front, I feel like it's too long. You know, like, especially with leggings, that, that's not working. Um, jeans, maybe, you know, again, it's just supposed to be that oversized look. I like my shirts more tailored, so. Love the pops of color though. So I'm glad they're bringing some color back. I will give that positive. Um, I love these blues, the subtle greens. I think that's really cute, but definitely not the size that I need. All right, so let's talk about the leggings. Um, the leggings actually are a little too big on me. They're not holding in what I normally like to hold in here in the stomach area, um, but they're comfortable. So I definitely will use them to lounge around the house. Not sure if I would wear them out and about unless I could find the right top for them because um, I don't know if they're really doing anything for my body. Um, so, but overall, I am impressed with this bag way more than I was the last bag, but let's look at the prices. So hang on. Okay, so I'm going to give it to them. I think that this was much better than the last one. So let's hope it continues. 
but let me know your thoughts. All right, I'm gonna go through the prices. I'm gonna do my best. My prices are crossed out because again, they send these things to me for free. So if I get the wrong price than what's showing on the screen, go by what's showing on the screen, but I'll do my best. All right, so we will start with this top here. I think so. This is called the Shannon T-shirt in rainbow and everything was Sheila Rose except for the one top was Zanana. Um, but this one is $27.99, I believe. So, okay, if it fit better, if it wasn't the oversized look, um, I might have liked it. All right, we've got the Jingle Jangle necklace. Um, this one is the Kit necklace in Rhodium, um, and this one is $24.99. Um, we have the leggings here. These are the Asana legging in BTL green, um, and these I think are $39.99, so I think that's a little high. Um, this one here is the Work Crush Rose Pink IV, I think, $32.99, so it looks like. We have the other top here. This one is the Ocean Blues White Crimson, um, $27.99. And then lastly are the joggers that I love. These are the Sheila Rose Tay Jogger in Burhina. Okay. Um, I think these are $34.99. <laughs> um, so, I mean, the prices are decent in this box. Some are a little bit high still um, for what they claim to be so affordable, but what did you guys think? I keep saying that, but I really want to hear your feedback on this one because of the last bag and how this one compares to it. So let me know your thoughts below in the comments. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the notification bell so you see my style videos come out. It truly helps me when you subscribe and like my videos because it continues to help me bring more content to you guys. All right, till next time, guys. Happy styling.